Ayame escapes from the cell and explores the manor. She searches for a bell, the bond between her and Kiko. Next, on Tenshu Fatal Shadows, for whom the bell tolls, even will perish in a flash of crimson. Consciousness returns, locked in a cell, and a keepsake lost. An act of kindness carries a high cost. Injury and imprisonment. Should she sit and wait, or attempt the futile? Calculated thought gives way to panic as muscles refuse to respond. A faint ringing. The after effects of the concussion, or the sound of a bell, the sound of the lost promise, the unmistakable voice of Kiku. That you, kid? <laughs> Surprised? Never could leave well enough alone. Brought something for ya. Antivenom. I'll pull you up. Hold on, kid. I appreciate the help, but I can't leave. Still something that needs to get done. Anything I can help with? Yeah. Only if you're willing, of course. Three days from now. A man named Mimizuku will be outside the gates of Gota. Tell him you're hunting dragons. He should say something about horns. Dragons and horns. Got it. Hey, the name's Ayami of the Azuma. Rina the Venya. Oh, hey, I've got a map of this place. Take it. It's not going to go unnoticed for very long. This looks to be it.
to be nothing.
Figured one of you would show up. I never disappoint a lady. Looking for this? There's one thing I don't get. What do you got against us? Don't think we've ever crossed you or nothing. I remember that. Women are a little whimsical that way. Not that I'd expect someone who kills for money to understand. Money? <laughs> I don't kill for money. I do it for fun. Makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> I have to hand it to you. You sure do make killing you a whole lot easier. <laughs> I hope you came prepared for a fight, because I didn't come for dinner and a show. Oh, 